Hello everyone, welcome back to Be Painter with Tutorials. And uh, today we came up with an interesting uh, topic, or else we can say this as an Excel function that is XLOOKUP. So now we can see like uh, lots of the updated Excel version have uh, the functionality of XLOOKUP. If we are using older version of Excel, then XLOOKUP will not work. Uh, for all the Google Sheets or uh, tricks, you can directly use this XLOOKUP function and uh, you can do your activity very easily so what is the difference between xlookup and woolookup we will see everything with the live example before moving that i would request everyone to check the playlist you will find videos related to six sigma certification call center team leaders interview questions trainers sme uh, then we also have kpis and people management questions along with uh, 50 plus excel videos dashboards google data studio many more videos are there to check you will find 130 plus videos which will help you in cracking the interviews so let's start the function which is xlookup so what is the difference between xlookup and vlookup so this has been observed and maybe you guys have also observed this vlookup always work in a forward direction for an example i have this data okay and uh, i need <coughs> few details like with the help of name with the help of name i need the location details with the help of vlookup i can use like i'll use vlookup then i will choose all the names right or uh, then okay let me go in this way equal to vlookup i'll choose the uh, the uh, the reference value which is d17 where we have a current comma we have to choose from the name to location which is one to two three steps further okay this is not working let me do once again we look up comma from name to third stage three comma zero bracket close yes we got this location as india for current the location is as india so we look up always work in a forward condition for an example, you are taking reference as name and required location, for sure VLOOKUP will work. Now I need a designation which is with reference to the name, which is in the opposite direction. Now how I can do this? Equal to VLOOKUP. Let me check if I can do with the help of the same VLOOKUP, comma, choosing from here to here, comma, two, comma, zero. No, I will not get anything. If I choose one, comma, zero, let me check one. I will not get, which means we VLOOKUP will never work in a backward conditions but uh, XLOOKUP will work in all the conditions you can get data in any of the way let's try XLOOKUP now so what it will do equal to XLOOKUP bracket open first it will ask search key my reference key is D17 which is name comma it's asking lookup range now where are these names it's here uh, in the E row we can see here all the names we will choose all the name then comma it's asking result range in the we look up we are choosing all the uh, cells here we will only choose what particular details we require so here we want only location so directly i will choose location here then the comma then uh, if you add match mode or else one comma zero which is true or false then okay correct you got india for the current this is very easy to understand let's try the x lookup in a reverse way x lookup x lookup then uh, reference is again name comma it's asking the lookup range which is again selecting uh, we, uh, the current will be choose from all the names comma it's asking now missing value now we want designation correct then comma one comma zero let's check either we're getting the answer yes current current is an indian and uh, with the designation as sme let's try this avinash yes avinash he is from canada and the designation is manager i hope this is easy to understand how how we can get data with the help of xlookup the only difference here is there are two differences basically one xlookup will work in forward and backward conditions both we lookup always work in a forward condition second point xlookup for xlookup we will select the reference value along with the uh, all the names and we no need to choose all the rows for an example if i require location i no need to choose from name to all location 
we just need to choose where the missing value we required like we required location directly choose the range for all the locations that's it that is only the difference between vlookup and xlookup so you can use it in horizontal vertical all the ways it's up to you we will go with few more examples in upcoming videos uh, this will give you more clarity start using this particular trick guys maybe it will help you in most of the reports that's it with regards to the xlookup still have any doubt let me know in a comment section definitely i'll try to help you out do check do check our facebook instagram and linkedin page you will find job related information also subscribe the channel and click on like button if you have learned something new today thanks a lot guys